What's the science, America? Ed Davis here. I'm an author and I'm the co-founder of Aviate Through Knowledge Productions. This public service announcement is courtesy of Aviate Through Knowledge Productions and it's called Respondability. But before I get to that, let me get into this, some alarming statistics. According to a CNN article by Nicholas Kristoff, African-American men are 21 times more likely to be shot and killed by law enforcement than European American men between ages 15 through 19. That numbers off to around 31 out of every million African Americans will become victims as opposed to 1.4 out of every million European American males of the same age. Another alarming number is that Mayor, former Mayor Rudy Giuliani, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, had stated that 93% of deaths of African Americans in the United States are caused by, guess who? Other African Americans. Now, that's definitely bothersome, but here's the sick part it's true. How can we address and combat these disturbing statistics? One way that I know is responsibility. What is responsibility, you ask? Well, of course, responsibility, look at the word, the root word being responsible. It's saying that I have the ability to respond responsibly. That's what aviate through knowledge's responsibility means, okay? So, it's a community outreach presentation for all Americans, but more specifically for African American males. So it relates to them that they have and can understand that they have the ability to respond responsibly in the face of adversity. It promotes social and cultural educational awareness issues dealing with the authority figures. It encourages preventative measures using 10 steps when facing officers of the law. Respondability does address situations like in past incidents we've had in America. I'll give you an example here. Respondability addresses situations that happened in Oakland, California back in 2009 at the Fruitvale Station. Respondability is sensitive to and addresses what happened in 2012 in Sanford, Florida with Trayvon Martin. Respondability addresses the current situation that's happened in Baltimore, Maryland, and the current situations that's going on in New York City. Also, yes, responsibility does address situations that happen in Ferguson, Missouri. So these are all unfortunate situations where we have to address them though so we can help avoid these situations in the future. Three ways responsibility can help various communities include it changes the mindset. You heard? It changes the mindset for those who listen to adhere to the recommendations. Also, responsibility, it de-escalates hostile situations. It de-escalates hostile situations. It can help people avoid altercations and being arrested and it also promotes respect and compliance a lot of people have this misunderstanding that they have the right to resist arrest at that point when you resist arrest it's definitely uh, non-compliance when you resist arrest so we have to keep that in mind moving forward in closing America responsibility teaches us that we're all held accountable for our actions. You deserve better. They deserve better. We deserve better. And responsibility shows us that we have the ability to respond responsibly. More information is available about responsibility at our website, www.aviatethroughknowledge.com. Again, www dot aviate through knowledge dot com. Thank you and God bless.